Hey there, Foxy Gamers! Welcome to 10 Things I Wish I Knew Before Playing Subnautica. This is not meant as a tutorial, but rather a quick start guide with some useful tips that you may not have known immediately. When you're swimming around without a vehicle, be sure to only have an item out when you're actually using it. Yielding any item will cause you to swim slower. Don't eat too much of one type of food, or else you'll actually end up damaging yourself. Balance your diet by eating various species of flora or fauna. We don't want to end up like all the pirates with scurvy, you know. Anytime you cook a fish, it will start to degrade after a few minutes and may actually end up reducing your food or water levels. So be sure to eat it immediately and make cured food for taking out on long adventures instead. It will hurt your hydration levels slightly, so make sure you have water too. However, if you catch a fish and leave it in a storage box untouched, it will stay fresh forever until you cook it. Make a scanner as soon as possible. This will allow you to collect blueprints by scanning any fragments you find lying around and also learn about flora and fauna throughout the ocean. So long as you are holding a scanner in your inventory, you can see an icon pop up in the lower right corner of your screen whenever you encounter something scannable. You can carry multiple oxygen tanks in addition to the one you equip on your paper doll. Each one will add 30 seconds to your oxygen levels, but will also take up inventory space and slow you down slightly. The Sea Glide is an early gadget you can make after scanning its fragments. This is a battery-powered tool that will make you swim faster and comes with a built-in flashlight. It will not be affected by the amount of oxygen tanks you're carrying, but its power drains fast, so make sure you have spare batteries before venturing towards the ocean floor. The harvesting nodes that look like rocks all appear to be the same, but when you get close enough their names will be different. Limestone contains copper, lead, or titanium. Sandstone contains gold or silver. Basalt contains gold or diamond and shale contains gold and lithium. So yeah, you're likely to end up with lots of gold in the long run. You should quickly learn which noises belong to which fish, as predators will almost always make a sound before approaching you. Yeah, I was definitely afraid of every single thing I heard until I figured this out. Stalkers and sand sharks are the first threats you'll encounter. Sand sharks can be easily avoided by strafing left and right when they're chasing you, and they'll quickly become bored with their pursuit. Stalkers are found in the kelp forest and are a little bit more aggressive. One trick is that they're attracted to metal objects, so if you're carrying a piece of metal salvage, you can drop it and they will chase after it like a cat with a laser toy. After they've been biting it for a while, they'll sometimes drop stalker teeth, which you can pick up and use for future crafting recipes. Reaper leviathans are bad. Very, very bad. Your first encounter with them will be near the front of the aurora. And I hate to tell you, but there are even worse things out there in the ocean. So there you have it. I hope these 10 tips make your life a little easier when diving into the game. Thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe if you found this video useful and want to see more. Until next time, stay foxy everyone.